ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, would you please rise if you were able for the procession of graduates and remain standing for the academic procession. Thank you.
Israel, good day and welcome to the June convocation of Kwantlen Polytechnic University. We are gathered here today on the traditional and unceded territories of the Kwantlen, Keitsi, Coquitlam, Kakite, Musqueam, Swanson, and Semiamu peoples who have lived here for millennia. We honor the Kwantlen who graciously bestowed their name on this university. We thank all of our First Nations for sharing their land and resources with us in friendship and in peace. And our elder in residence, Lakaton, is here to bless the convocation. Good morning, my dear ones. I give you the sign of respect, no matter where we're from, which part of the world, or the direction you came from and where you're going. You behold the future on the sacred Tzachtamuch of the nations, sacred land, sacred land. Me subkotwilam. Welcoming you to the sacred land, my dear ones. Congratulations to everyone that wears the cap and gown, and mostly to those who got us to where we are today. Those from every age and everyone from that doorway in to the doorway out. We're here to celebrate a great spectacle in your life. I hope that always continues, and I hope that you do more celebration in your life. I hope that we do more and more convocations. You're going to see it for the rest of your life because you're part of something unique, something that has always been so traditional. Thanking KPU for always respecting and acknowledging the land that is so sacred. And when you walk that land, you become that sacred person. When you speak about good things, that becomes your sacred, your sacred way of life. Thanking all of you to help your children survive this time of COVID and to everywhere else that we, we always think about. To those who got us to where we are today, to those instructors and teachers who helped us along the way and just made us take that extra step so that you can make it here today. Thank you, Haitsepka. I'm thanking all of you. I Sepka, the sign of respect will be with you always today. Have a great day today. All my relations. Heitzka, thank you, Lakaton. Uh, please stay standing if you're able uh, for the singing of O Canada in a version with an extra verse sung and played by KPU students.
Please be seated. I declare Quantum Polytechnic University's convocation in session to honor our 2023 graduates. My name is Alan Davis, and uh, I have the honor to serve as KPU's president and vice chancellor. Convocation means to call together by summons, and in universities, convocations are called for the conferring of credentials and for the recognition of outstanding achievement. I'd like to introduce members of the platform party. Please hold your applause until everybody has been introduced. We'll start with the members of our amazing faculty who are here today. From the KPU Foundation Board, Vikram Baba. From the KPU Alumni Association, Mohammed Kallas and Nancy Armitage. From the Kwantlen Student Association, Abdullah Randawa and Jasmine Kochar. Provost and Vice President Academic, Dr. Diane Purvey, Vice President External Affairs and CEO of the Foundation, Randall Height, Vice President Student Zena Mitchell, Vice President Human Resources, Laurie Clancy, Vice President Administration, Peter Smales, and Vice President Equity and Inclusive Communities, Dr. Nadia Malay. Associate Vice President Academic, Dr. David Burns. Associate Vice President Teaching and Learning, Dr. Leanne Waddington. And Associate Vice President Research and Scholarship, Dr. Deepak Gupta. The Vice Chair of Senate, Dr. Amy John. The University Registrar, Nadia Henwood. The Dean of the Melville School of Business, Heather Harrison. The Associate Deans of the Melville School of Business, Valerie Warren and Suzanne Pierce the Dean of the Faculty of Health, Sharman Lee, and the Associate Dean of Trades and Technology, Dr. Joel Murray. There, we also have the Director of Learning Technologies and Educational Development, Dr. Nishan Pereira, and General Counsel, Jennifer Dupre. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in acknowledging the platform party. Chancellor Kantiltanut Kim Baird is unable to join us in person today, but she sent the following special video greeting. ASEAN, CMNA, CAEA, my respected friends, relatives, and elders, ES Neshkwelawan Kwanas Eat Skekak at Thwelep, I'm happy to be amongst you all. President Davis, board members, Senate members, graduates, honored guests, family members, faculty, staff, and alumni. Welcome to Kwantlen Polytechnic University's Convocation Ceremony. Today, we celebrate the successes of our soon-to-be graduates. I'd like to extend a big congratulations to each and every one of you. You should be very proud of your achievement. Thank you to your families and your communities that have supported you. I would like to talk about the importance of community today. My own career path was influenced by my community. Indeed, I am an alumna of this very institution because it is community-based. I spent much of my career serving my community, Tawasan First Nation. So in your long careers ahead of you, please think about how you can serve your community. You all have great capacity to make the world a better place and I hope you find a career or volunteer opportunities to do so. Today, you join a new community of alumni, many of whom have found successful career and community service paths. Our grads are philanthropists, critical thinkers, entrepreneurs, and global citizens in many fields. This university's alumni are representing KPU locally, nationally, and globally in an incredibly impactful way. So graduands, take pride in what you do and where you've come from, and most importantly, support the communities that support you. On behalf of your university, I wish you continued success. And once again, congratulations. Haichka, Haisapka. Thank you, Chancellor. Simran Samra will 
uh, address the convocation on behalf of the graduates. Simran graduates today with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Simran. Good morning, graduating class of 2023, friends, family, and esteemed faculty. It is a huge honor and a privilege to be able to be given this opportunity to represent our well-deserving and outstanding graduating class. The day we've all been waiting for is finally here. I still remember the day that I received a letter in the mail stating that I had been accepted into the fac uh, nursing program. An overwhelming feeling of joy and excitement had taken over me, but along with that were these nervous butterflies of anticipation of how the next couple of years were going to look for me and how I'd be able to make it through this program. I always knew that it wouldn't be easy, and there would be many days where I wanted to quit and give up, but did I think it was gonna be this hard? No. <laughs> I think I speak for a lot of us here when I say that the last couple of years have been a roller coaster of emotions. However, this journey has made me resilient, confident, and has helped me realize that even when you think you can't do it, you can. We've all grown in countless ways since the beginning of our time here at KPU. We've challenged ourselves to step out of our comfort zone, like I'm doing right now, <laughs> try new things, and reflect on how we could improve. We have all worked incredibly hard to be here today and be able to experience this amazing milestone with all of our family and friends. Ever since the beginning of high school, I have always wanted to be a registered nurse and work in a field where I could make a difference in someone's life for the better. At that time, the goal was just to be accepted. Graduating and actually getting a degree was a far-fetched idea that I didn't think I'd be able to achieve at the time. Yet here we are at the beginning of the rest of our lives and a world of opportunities ahead of us. Kwantlen Polytechnic University provided us with a comfortable and encouraging learning environment. It has been our home away from home. The passion and love for teaching that the faculty members and instructors have shown has only motivated and inspired us to continue pursuing our goals. Their extensive knowledge, creativity, and desire to make a change is contagious and has only further empowered us to want to learn more. They have challenged us to think outside, critically and creatively while creating a supportive and interactive learning environment where we felt comfortable sharing our own ideas and asking questions. Several faculty members have especially made an impact on me and many other students of the graduating class. They have been with us throughout our entire program and have challenged our minds to go beyond. For that, we thank you and the entire faculty. Today is not just about us, the graduates. It is also a day to recognize and express our gratitude to those who have believed in us from the very beginning. This celebration would be incomplete if we did not thank all of our parents, friends, family, and loved ones for their unconditional support and encouragement throughout our academic journey. You have all been there for us when we needed it the most and have motivated us to continue pursuing our goals. Without you, we would not be here today, so thank you. Now to my fellow graduating class of 2023. I can proudly say that there is no other group of individuals I would have rather gone through this journey with than you all. We have all successfully achieved what we set out to do, and we can stand here today knowing that we worked hard and overcame obstacles that seemed impossible to tackle at the time. All the procrastinating the night before an assignment is due and the all-nighters before exams and projects have finally paid off. Throughout my time here at KPU, I have been lucky enough to have met some amazing people that I know that I will be friends with for the rest of my life. Celebrating the small victories and lifting each other up through bad grades and fails have bonded us together like no other. Our university experience has been about more than just textbooks and exams, although there were a lot of those. It has been about finding our voice, engaging in meaningful discussions, and learning from one another. I have realized that we do not need to look far for inspiration and that we all have the potential to inspire others around us. By staying true to our values and committing ourselves to lofty goals, we each can accomplish anything we set our mind to. Today, as we don our caps and gowns, 
we see the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. When you leave here today and embark on this exciting journey ahead of you, celebrate all that you have achieved, but also take a look around you and think about how you can further be an inspiration up for others going forward. Congratulations, graduating class of 2023. Thank you. Thank you very much, Simran. Well, we're now going to certify the graduands. Would the graduands please rise? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the statutes of the province of British Columbia, and upon the recommendation of the Senate and the Registrar of Kwantlen Polytechnic University, I confer upon you and those in absentia the credential to which you are entitled and invest you with all the rights and privileges, powers, and responsibilities pertaining to the credential. Congratulations to you all. You may be seated. We will now present each of the graduates to the convocation. Dr. Leanne Waddington will present the graduates assisted by University Registrar Nadia Henwood. Offering congratulations to each graduate as they cross the stage will be myself, the provost, the dean of the faculty being presented, and each graduate will be presented with an invitation on behalf of the KPU Alumni Association. The graduates are going to ask you to return to your seats after crossing the stage as directed by the marshals. We'll try to keep this orderly and please stay until everyone has been presented. But vocal encouragement of your favorite graduate is very welcome. This is, after all, a celebration. Dr. Waddington, when you are ready. We will now recognize the graduates of the Faculty of Health. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with distinction, Audrey Benez. With distinction, Jazz Karen Bath. With distinction, Sophia Elaine Valerio Carpio. With distinction, Selena Marie Castillo Castillo. With distinction, Cairo L. Chapman. With distinction, Louis Philip Domatita. Emily Jillian Dobchak. With distinction, Benjamin Fletcher. With distinction, Evelyn Guman. With distinction, Jasmine Kaur Gill. With distinction, Angela Lee. With distinction, Keisha Ruth Ludovici. With distinction, Rabia Nazreen. With distinction, Nafisa Noor. With distinction, Bernice Aforio Amanfo. With distinction, Harvinder Pierwall. With distinction, Navdeep Kaur 
cry. With distinction, Simranjeet Samra. With distinction, Crystal Neha Singh. With distinction, Kareth Paul Kaur Teja. With distinction, Amanda Valente. With distinction, Zoe Walter. With distinction, Emma Ward. With distinction, Rachel Zhang. The graduates of the Certificate in Graduate Nurse Internationally Educated Reentry. With distinction, Reynalyn Ramos Agbenla. Komal Kapreet Kaur Bal. Ade Fiola Bimakole. Ramandeep Kaur Brar. With distinction, Zarina May Kalingason. With distinction, Lovely Damasco. With distinction, Malen Lori Panago de Guzman. With distinction, Liara Bale de la Cruz. With distinction, Sneha Lourdes Gabriel Steven. Jaron George. Julie George. With distinction, Paula Rosario Hagerman. Harsimran Kaur. Manminder Kaur. With distinction, Simran Preet Kaur. With distinction, Catherine Joy de Guzman Melendez. With distinction, Denny K. Ali Adonavaro. With distinction, Carlene Ray Ramos. With distinction, Ida Santander. With distinction, Francis Diane Santos. With distinction, Niraj Sharma. With distinction, Jonalyn Lim Sabaluka. With distinction, Oliver Sikiyako.
With distinction, Mary Tatus. With distinction, Tina Thomas. With distinction, Mark Torres. With distinction, Sarah Jean Begaporo Chukwai. With distinction, Robert Monroe. With distinction, Dustin Matthew Street. Certificate in Appliance Service Technician. With distinction, Bradley Ems. With distinction, Ki Jun Kim. With distinction, Sean Rigby. I present to you the graduates of the Faculty of Trades and Technology. recognize the graduates of the Melville School of Business. Bachelor of Business Administration in Entrepreneurial Leadership. With distinction, Lakmisha Chabra. Yashover Yish Chandra.
Jeremy LeBlanc. Manpreet Kaur Singer. Bachelor of Technology in Information Technology. Jihan Nyang A. Amardeep Singh Barya. Christina Caroline Boladula Honey. With distinction, Mansamar Kaur. Arundeep Singh Mahal. Sean Price. Hassan Riez. Kwan Tian. Curtis Tu. Josiah Matthew Tolentino. Ramandeep Singh Vandal. Yashmeet Singh Verdi. Zaping Wang. Nikitia Atafe. <laughs> Princess Antoinette Bartley. <laughs> Arshjot Singh Basan. Bardwash with distinction, Anmaldeep Singh Bhupal, with distinction, Jasneet Kaur Claire. Shira May Garzota. Armandeep Singh Gill. Guntas Gill. Maninder Kaur Gosal. Yesh Goyal. Harshit Gupta.
Sachin Hans. Harman Preet Kaur. With distinction, Harpreet Kaur. Hardik Singh Jabbar. Yasmeen Kaur Johal. Arpit Kalia. Anisha Kanda. Liza Kapoor. Amnit Kaur. Avnit Kaur. Bhavjot Kaur. Gagandeep Kaur. With distinction, Gurbinder Kaur. Simran Kaur, Kamalpreet Kaur, Navleen Kaur, with distinction. Parneet Kaur. Sukhmanjeet Kaur. With distinction, Benjamin Lloyd Costilla. AJ Kumar. Paul Singh Lit. <laughs> Wenjin Liao. <laughs> Manjot Kaur. <laughs> Harveer Singh Mataru. Deep Singh. With distinction, Tanvir Parmar. Rajpreet Singh. Anmol Singh Randawa. Muda Razik. <laughs> Sukhmanjot Kaur Riyar. <laughs> With distinction, Ripinjot Kaur. <laughs> Abnit Kaur Sandu. Jasvinder Singh Sandhu. Satinder Kaur.
Harshnoor Singh Sidhu. Akshdeep Singh. Gulmahak Singh. Gurdeep Singh. Harjinder Singh. Harnoor Singh. Karen Veer Singh. Manmeet Singh. With distinction, Navnoor Singh. Taryn Preet Singh. Sarpreet Singh Sohi. Sonal. With distinction, Sukhpreet Singh. Diploma in General Business Studies. With distinction, Abida Ali. Gokul Arora. Pahul Brar. Megan Deep Core Manpreet Harmail Singh Man Pukraj Deep Singh Makar Ishmit Singh Deep Singh Paul James White Certificate in Computer Information Systems Rambir Singh Certificate in General Business Studies, Russell Esquivel Kailin. Hardeep Kaur. I present to you the graduates of the Melville School of Business. Dr. Davis, this concludes the presentation of graduates. <clears throat> okay, we'll just give some time for people to get back to their seats. There are quite a lot of you, aren't there? That was wonderful. Uh, so graduates, I'm going to give you an opportunity now to acknowledge your family and friends, those who supported you during your studies. So I, I invite you to stand up, turn around, and make some noise.
All right, you can sit down now. Thank you. Dr. Diane Purvey will present the student awards. The Dean's Medal is awarded to the KPU student customarily achieving the highest GPA in a faculty. The Dean's Medal recipient has demonstrated academic excellence and has contributed to community service, support of other students in the learning community, or has made significant contributions to their field of study. The Dean's Medal for the Faculty of Health is awarded to Arnel Aguido. Arnell has been a KPU student since September 2020 and was enrolled in the Bachelor of Science in Nursing Advanced Entry Program. He began his post-secondary pursuits at SFU, searching for a field of study where he felt inspired. There, he was introduced to health sciences and decided he wanted to find a way to bridge both theory and clinical practice to provide care at the individual level, focusing on restoring and optimizing positive health outcomes. Arnell eventually wants to go into teaching and possibly serving in primary health care as a nurse practitioner. As a student, Arnell excelled in many ways. He worked with vulnerable individuals and interviewed people on the downtown east side to learn about their need for harm reduction. His coursework was outstanding. Arnell is genuine and a team player. He is patient focused and found ways to bring comfort to clients. Arnell enjoys traveling and learning about cultures, people, and traditions. He loves music, playing both the guitar and piano. He also enjoys singing with friends and family. In fact, on weekends, he conducts the choir at his local church. Arnell even owns two Filipino businesses, one in Burnaby and the other in Whistler, where his parents live. Congratulations, Ar Arnell. The Dean's Medal for the Faculty of Trades and Technology is presented to Bradley Ems. Bradley has been a KPU student for only one year and was enrolled in the Appliance Service Technician Program. He chose this program because it would provide him with a solid foundation across disciplines and help him achieve his career goal to have his own business. In his studies, Bradley exemplified the three A's, which are critical to earning this award, academics, attendance, and attitude. Bradley was always on time and ready to learn. He had a positive attitude in his learning and support of his classmates, and was a strong ambassador for the Appliance Service Technician Program. Bradley exemplified respect for himself, his classmates, and his instructor, and by extension, earned the respect of his instructor and peers. Bradley likes spending time with family, fishing and camping, and playing his guitar and drums. Congratulations, Bradley. Muhammad Kallas will now provide a welcome to the newest members of the KPU alumni community. Good morning, everyone. What an exciting day. My name is Muhammad Kallas, and on behalf of the alumni community, I would like to extend my sincerest congratulations to both you and your families on this very special day. I address you this morning wearing a few different hats. I am the Vice Chair of the KPU, KPU Alumni Association, but I'm also a two-time graduate of KPU, where I walked this stage not once, but twice. 
completing my associate degree in criminology, then returning to KPU, and furthering my education, completing a post-baccalaureate in human resources and business management. Today, I work at CIBC's corporate head office as a senior HR and talent acquisition partner. So if you're looking for a job, please come see me at the end. <laughs> but most importantly, I'm excited to say I'm also a sessional member of faculty here in the Melville School of Business, where I teach in both undergraduate and postgraduate business programs. As you can see, KPU truly holds a very special place in my heart. So I want to say a big thanks to our Dean of Business, Heather Harrison, and Stephanie Howes for truly making my ambitions a reality here at KPU. The word alumni is derived from a Latin word meaning to nourish or foster. As you leave your student status behind and become an alumni of this institution, I hope you will remember your time at KPU as a place where your mind was nourished and your worldview fostered and expanded by the education that you received. Just when you thought your journey at KPU had come to an end, I am here to tell you, as a new alumni, this is just the beginning. You are all now part of a vast community of alumni with over 67,000 graduates. Our alumni are all over the world doing some amazing things. And we welcome you to this community where you can inspire and be inspired by your fellow graduates. Being a part of this alumni family is truly your long life connection to KPU. The KPU Alumni Association is dedicated to helping you stay connected and providing you with meaningful benefits, privileges, and services. Being an alumni also makes you KPU ambassadors, where your success is our success. Your individual accomplishments give this university its character, and we cherish the idea of hearing and sharing your stories. You have received a fantastic education from this university, and we look forward to celebrating your future success. But before we leave, I'd like to leave you with one final thought. For those of you who don't know, the word Kwantlen means tireless runner. So as you embark on your next chapter in your life journey, tirelessly run after your dreams and find your purpose, carrying the KPU banner with pride. We wish you all the success upon your graduation, and we look forward to staying in touch with you. Once again, congratulations. Thank you very much, Mohammed. Well, we're near the end, and I'd like to just close with a few words specifically about this university and its importance to our community within the context of the crucial role that universities of all shapes and sizes play in our society. KPU is a university for our times, a polytechnic university, open and accessible and relevant to both local needs and the global issues of society. We're a university that is driven by teaching and learning, enriched by our research and scholarship and engaged with our communities. Our mission is to create opportunities for all learners to achieve success and to prepare them for rewarding work, for engaged citizenship, and for a lifetime of continued learning. And certainly all the evidence we have from employers and alumni is that we achieve these goals in many ways. And beyond that, KPU is part of a global community of thousands of universities which are founded upon and dedicated to the great ideals of civilization liberty, truth, sustainability, beauty, and justice. And they respect and preserve culture and language and ideas and inspire their learners and others to do the same and to become active agents in creating a better world, whatever their field of study. In order to do this, universities have for centuries cherished their autonomy and the academic freedom of their faculty and their learners and their right and responsibility to always question the status quo and to explore new knowledge while tackling complex issues and to do so respectfully, 
ethically and thoughtfully. At KPU, though still quite young as a university, we continue this tradition, and not just by dressing up twice a year like extras in a Harry Potter movie. There are serious reasons for the pomp and the ceremony here at Convocation, in addition to being, we hope, an appropriate celebration of your success. It reminds us of the hard-won freedoms that universities continue to protect and to foster on behalf of society. So keep up the tradition. Whatever your line of work, try always to be open, skeptical, questioning, courageous, respectful, and kind. All of us here have had the honor and the privilege of helping each of you along the way in reaching your educational goals. Thank you for choosing us. Friends and family, thank you for all you have done in supporting our graduates and for being here today. This concludes our convocation. I'd like to thank all of those who have been involved in the planning and execution of this week's ceremonies. I invite you to join us at the reception across the way in Surrey, Maine for hugs and photos. I will now dismiss the convocation. I'm going to ask you to stand and remain standing if you are able until the platform party and the graduates have exited the convocation. Please stand. In honor of our deep respect for the Kwantlen First Nation, I offer this blessing in harmony with and in deep respect for the many faiths and philosophic traditions presented here today. As you continue on life's journey, may you walk tirelessly. May the Creator walk with you. May his peace be in your minds. May her love be in your hearts. All my relations, I declare this convocation dismissed. Thank you.